How's it going guys? My name is Jeff and this is the Help Series. Alright guys, this episode is brought to you by a shout out to Rock Lee. Can he ask how to remove background noise? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Getting rid of wind, fans, those kind of things. Let's get to it. You need your clip that you need to reduce the noise on. And Heidi, we sat on that day and we needed to film and we had wind. So we need to take some of that wind out. So this clip, we're just gonna drop right down into our timeline, like so. There it is. Now in order to work on that audio, we can play it as is, but I need to work on that audio. I need to re separate it. So we right click, detach audio. And the reason we need to do that is so that we can actually manipulate the audio. Right now as is, it's attached to the video and we cannot touch it. Let's take a look and listen to how it is right now. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. Awesome. One of the things that we really had trouble with was wind that day. So the wind is a low bass tone and we need to really take out as much as we can of the, out of that. And that will make this a better clip. So we're gonna right click and go to edit or shortcut Alt E. Or as a third option, we can go up to the toolbar and click edit right there. It brings up this menu to deal with the audio and some adjustments. We can adjust speed, volume, fade in, fade out, pitch. You guys understand how that works. I'm not gonna to touch any of that for now. We're talking about the equalizer and the denoise today. So right now, this button right here, remove background noise, is kind of a handy little first step. So we're gonna click that, and we're going to listen to how this sounds. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. So right now, that was a little bit weak as far as the strength of how we're gonna reduce the noise. So I'm gonna bump it to medium or mid, and we're going to uh, see how that sounds now. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. Thanks, Heidi, you're really sweet. So I liked how that was working so far, but one thing to really note and notice is that it made Heidi's voice metallic and kind of like robotic. So we have to go into the equalizer right here and customize how we're going to change that. So let's check it out. Here we bring into the equalizer and right now all of these little dots are at the zero line. So in order to change that, I want you to understand a few things about this. In the low tones on the left side here, about three to four of these lines, it brings out bass in the voice, it brings out bass in the noise, specifically the wind, we can get rid of some of that. That's what we did with the check mark. But now we wanna bring some of that back along with the mid tones right here in the middle range of her voice so that she doesn't sound as metallic and robotic. Now the right side, the high pitch treble noise, we're not gonna to touch uh, at all because we like where that is already. We don't wanna add more or reduce more of that. So right now I'm going to add a slight wave to this whole entire clip. So I'm just dragging these up and we're just gonna test just by trial and, uh, and error. Notice how it changed to custom because now we're at a custom set. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's check it out and see how it sounds so far. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. Awesome. So it sounded a little better than just clicking the noise uh, background removal. And I just wanna tweak it a little bit farther. So I'm going to add a, just a bit more to her mid-tone and we're going to add a little more on some of her bass right about there. And notice that it's kind of this nice curve. I could put all of these dots up to the top, but it would be too harsh. And so having a curve makes things a little more gradual and, and nicer. So let's check out to see how that finally looks. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. I think that sounds great. Now, a couple things I wanna talk about as far as using this denoise button. 
It's not a magic button. It won't take out everything. It will allow you to uh, customize that and equalize and bring out some of the sounds, but not every clip is gonna work the way that it does. From the beginning, you should use as much effort to get out all the noise from recording. But if you can't, like in our situation with Heidi and the wind, we just didn't wanna sit there waiting for the wind to stop, so we knew that we could work it after. But it's not gonna fix every clip, and you should use as much discretion when it comes to figuring out what clip, what sound, and what frequency and noise you're using. So pay attention to that, and I wish you the best of luck. If all else fails, you don't have to be so uh, precise about it. We can add a little music. So adding music to this clip will kind of help even things out too. So we've got this fringe trim boots song that I'm just gonna drop down and add to project. If I played it right now, it would be blasting loud. So we're just gonna highlight this and edit that. And we actually found out that we gotta bring it down to like one or two on this volume setting. That will be better. Um, so let's check that out. Another new feature is Google Photos Import. You can now import photos directly from Google Photos into Filmora Go for editing. That's how you reduce noise in the background. So click these videos, guys. Check out more of what we have to offer. There's a lot of stuff on our YouTube page. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks guys for watching. My name's Jeff, signing off.